Welcome to pre-math. In this video, we have got this uh, trapezoid uh, A, B, C, D that consists of uh, two triangles, this uh, blue right triangle, whereas this uh, red uh, an isosceles uh, triangle, as you can see in this uh, diagram. And moreover, the area of this uh, blue triangle is uh, 384 centimeter square, whereas uh, this uh, side length uh, B, C is uh, 24 centimeter. And furthermore, uh, this uh, side uh, AD is uh, same as this uh, side length uh, CD. And now our task is uh, to calculate the area of this uh, red shaded uh, triangle. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. Please keep in mind that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale. Let's go ahead and get started. And here's our action plan. Since we are interested in calculating the area of this uh, red shaded uh, triangle, and we can see that the area of this uh, red shaded triangle uh, ACD is going to be equal to the area of this uh, whole uh, trapezoid uh, ABCD minus uh, the area of this uh, blue triangle uh, ABC. And now we know that the area of this uh, blue triangle ABC is 384. So therefore, our only task is uh, to calculate the area of this uh, trapezoid uh, ABCD. And now let's recall the definition of a trapezoid. Sometimes we call it uh, trapezium. A quadrilateral with at least uh, one pair of uh, parallel sides. And let's recall the area of a trapezoid uh, formula as well. The area is always equal to height uh, h times a plus b all over 2, where in our case the height uh, h is uh, 24 centimeter. And now our task is uh, to calculate uh, these bases uh, a and this base uh, b as well. And here's our next step. Let's focus on this uh, blue triangle uh, abc. And now let's recall the area of a triangle formula. Area equals to half times uh, base uh, times height, where in our case uh, the area of this uh, blue triangle ABC is uh, 384 centimeter square. The height is uh, 24 centimeter. And now our task is uh, to calculate this uh, base. Uh, let me call this base as uh, lowercase b. So let's go ahead and fill in the blanks. The area of this uh, triangle is uh, 384 equals to a half uh, times I'm going to call base as lowercase b times height is 24. If we simplify that is going to give us 384 equals to 12 times b. Let's divide both sides by 12. So therefore our base b value turns out to be 32 centimeter. So thus our this uh, base uh, a B length uh, turns out to be 32 centimeter. And here's our next step. I have dropped uh, this uh, perpendicular D E on this uh, line uh, A B as you can see in this uh, diagram. And as a result, we get to this uh, right uh, triangle uh, A E D. And now let's go ahead and focus on this uh, triangle uh, A E D. And now let's assume that this uh, length uh, A E is uh, X uh, centimeter. And now let's make an observation. We can see that this uh, AB length is uh, 32. This uh, AE length uh, is uh, X. So therefore uh, this uh, AB length uh, is going to be 32 minus uh, X. And now we know that this uh, EBCD is a rectangle. So therefore uh, if this side length is uh, 32 minus X, uh, then this uh, CD length uh, is going to be 32 minus uh, X uh, as well. And now we can see that this uh, side length uh, CD is the uh, same as this side length uh, AD. If this side length is 32 minus X, uh, then this uh, AD length is going to be 32 minus uh, X uh, as well. And furthermore, uh, if this uh, side length uh, BC is uh, 24, then this uh, ED length uh, is going to be 24 uh, as well. So thus the side length uh, of this uh, right triangle AED turns out to be X 
32 minus x and uh, 24. Let's go ahead and apply the Pythagorean theorem. And here's our Pythagorean theorem, a squared plus b squared equal to c squared. Let me go ahead and call this longest leg as our side c. I'm going to call this side lowercase a and this side uh, lowercase b. So let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this uh, formula. a in our case is x. So this is going to become uh, x squared plus b is uh, 24 whole square equal to c in our case is 32 minus uh, x whole square. Let's go ahead and simplify. So we got uh, x square plus 24 square is 576 uh, equals to. And now let's recall this uh, famous identity a minus b whole square could be written as uh, a square minus 2ab plus uh, b square. We are going to apply it on this uh, right hand side uh, binomial. So therefore the right hand side is going to become uh, 10 24 minus uh, 64 x uh, plus uh, x square. And now we can see this x square and x square they are uh, gone. And now I'm going to move this uh, 64 x uh, on the left hand uh, side. And at the same time I'm going to move this uh, 576 on the right hand side as well. So therefore we are going to have a 64 x equals to 10 24 minus 576. So therefore we are going to have a 64 x equal to 448. Let's divide both sides by 64. This 64 and 64 is gone. So therefore our x value turns out to be 7. And now I'm going to replace uh, this uh, x value by 7 over here. 32 minus 7 is going to give us uh, 25. So therefore our this uh, CD length uh, turns out to be 25 uh, centimeter. And now let's go ahead and calculate the area of this uh, trapezoid uh, ABCD. And let's recall the area of a trapezoid uh, formula once again. Area equals to height h times a plus b all over 2. Where our uh, h value is 24, a value is 32 and uh, b value is uh, 25. So let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this uh, trapezoid formula. Our height uh, is uh, 24 times a is uh, 32 plus b is uh, 25 all over 2. So that could give us uh, 12 times uh, this is going to give us uh, 57. And if we multiply that one that is going to give us uh, 684 centimeters square. And here's our final step. Let's go ahead and calculate the area of this uh, red triangle uh, ACD. And we already figured out uh, the area of the trapezoid ABCD as uh, 684. And the area of this uh, blue triangle ABC is uh, 384. So let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this uh, equation. So trapezoid area is 684 minus blue area is uh, 384. If we subtract that is going to give us uh, 300 centimeter square. So that's the area of this uh, red shaded triangle uh, ACD turns out to be 300 centimeter square. And that's our final answer. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.